ओके दीज टू कस्टम होम्स ब्रिंग्स यू बेस्ट यू आई सोफा दे मेनी कस्टम होम्स बट दीज टू कस्टम होम प्रोवाइड यू सम न्यू थिंग्स न्यू यू आई एंड अलॉट मोर थिंग्स एंड वी विल टॉक अवर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो सो स्टे ट्यून वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोजेक्ट एलेक्सर वर्सेज नुसंतरा ओ एस लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक एट सम ऑफ द मेजर डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ दीज कस्टम होम्स द फीचर्स और द थिंग्स विच आर इंक्लूडेड इन बोथ ऑफ दीज Firstly we have launcher differences both of these custom room brings you launcher 3 base launcher which means of course they have their own name project elixir have their own name or nusantra always have their own name but we have some major changes firstly if you take a look at this miscellaneous options you will be able to notice there are no major changes here but if you take a look at some recent option you will be able to notice shake phone to clear all task the option which is present in project elixir it's not present in nusantra os if i move on to the app drawer options you will be able to see that project elixir provides you some extra features regarding row height or background opacity same like that some of the options in home screen are kind of same but if you take a look at some major changes are the ui firstly UI is bit changed. Launcher is same. Features are kind of same, but in Project Elixir, the UI of the default launcher is changed, and it's looking like card style UI. But Nusantra OS is bringing you almost same kind of features, but not the card style UI. Only this is the major difference. But other options, other features are basically same. This is about the default launcher, which is included in Nusantra OS and Project Elixir. If we take a look at the quick settings panel. as expectedly both of these custom rooms provides you this white quick settings panel if you use the light mode you will see the light quick settings panel if you use the dark mode you will see the dark quick settings panel one thing take a look one thing if you take a look at here is to edit the quick settings panel in usantra os the option is available at bottom while as in project elixir this option is present right at the top right at the bottom in the quick setting tiles also at the top right you will be able to you will be able to notice here usantra os having the option to simply move into directly move into the usantra options usantra settings but project elixir does not brings you any feature like that Also, if you take a look at the settings UI, I customize that right now. I will show you some of the things which are by default, or the options to customize their settings UI is looking same here. I mean, both of these custom home brings you the option to use the default stock UI like Android 13 based, but both of these custom home brings you the option to customize the settings UI. Project Elixir only have this option called card style UI. Nusantra OS also brings you this card style UI by default, but in the terms of customization, in the terms of customization and UI changes, Nusantra OS brings you some two or three extra style options which Project Elixir doesn't support. Here are the home page style options. You can see AOSP, grid, grid and list, but in Project Elixir only the default style option is there. So if you take a look at this option called grid and list, and this is one of my favorite ones right now no other custom room brings you this feature this kind of ui in settings ui which is present in this nusantra os it is actually looking so amazing just according to me of course it might be biased opinion but for me it is just super looking super good looking and if it might come in if if it might come in other custom homes in future i'll definitely use that and i will definitely let you know make sure to subscribe the channel for those videos if you take a look at some quick settings customizations quick settings in both of these custom homes can be customizable can be you can customize a quick settings panel in the terms of project elixir if you take a look at project elixir we have many quick setting tiles options available but for example if you are not interested in these kind of things we have outline style which is like this one as you can see it it just looks like fluid ways or fluid ui if you have used that custom room classic style which means without those labels or kind of android 11 style but it's not actually profile as in nusantra ways this is actually available like same like android 11 style so this is a major difference but but if you take a look at this oxygen os style which you might call as color os style this is the major thing major difference in both of these custom rooms in quick setting tile styles in project elixir we have many extra options available you have the cyberpunk style we have the surround style we have many other styles but in nusantra os we have three styles first one is default second one is this android 11 style and third one is oxygen os style so these are some useful things and quite interesting things actually and actually i just love these things if you take a look at quick settings panel customizations more we have quick settings header images 
which unfortunately Nusantara OS lacks. It does not have this option. So if you use this feature, you have to wait for the next update. Maybe they will bring you. But one major difference in both of these custom home is Project Elixir is giving you pixel kind of UI most likely, but Nusantara OS is not bringing you like that. If you take a look at some other options or customizations in Nusantara OS, we have some theming options as expectedly icon or zigzag zigzag customizations. Notifications have the rate ticker notifications, and I think so. Both of these custom rooms provide you same kind of features here. For example, in miscellaneous, you'll be able to notice window secure flags options, that unlimited options for the games, unlimited photo storage, etc. I mean, spoofing options are present. Some lock screen customizations, some status bar customizations, and other options. All these options are kind of same and available in almost every custom home. Same like same, same kind of UI or same kind of features present in Project Elixir also. You'll be able to notice some theming options, which has the fonts, icon pack customizations, lock screen have the option for media cover art and that lock screen charging info. We have some options related to status bar too. I mean, read the notifications or the icons which you can enable or disable from the status bar. Not a big deal, kind of same UI or same features, not nothing unique here. Quick settings, I have already shown you. Gestures have the options related to these system navigation or etc i mean swipe to screenshot no not a major thing or nothing unique so far in call vibration options and these these are the things also if you take a look at some security options i mean what is included both of these custom homes have so have the support for face unlock both of these custom homes have the support for uh, these app locker fingerprint unlock every kind of security options are present let me try to enable the app locker and see if we can lock the system apps or not. So in Nusantara OS, if I try to enable this app locker right now, okay, by typing the screen lock, and if I open the protected apps, yes, I can lock the system apps. That's a very good thing. And if we take a look at in Project Elixir, I think so they should bring you this thing. And by the way, the version I'm reviewing right now in Nusantara OS, it's May security patch, while as in Project Elixir, it's Apple security patch. So it's not like that this is Android 12 or this is Android 13 or maybe five months older build. It's almost same, only one month one month before for Project Project Elixir, but it's completely fine. It's, it's not a big deal. You can see protected apps and both of these custom home supports to lock the system apps and that's a very good thing including that these are the, some major changes and these were the things i just wanted to let you know you can move on to the system settings and see if we have anything else to talk about gestures just basically same quickly open cameras swipe to screenshot and yes something like that playback control both of these custom home supports these features you can move on to the system navigation options and here one thing one difference i got here is advanced gesture options if I move on to the project Elixir and system navigation or gesture navigation, you will not be able to see the advanced gesture option. So this is also one of the changes, but other things are basically same. So these were things I just want to let you know. This is about project Elixir versus Nusantara OS in the terms of UI. Both of these custom brings you something interesting. Nusantara OS provides you some really unique things like oxygen OS volume panel, sorry, oxygen OS kind of quick settings panel and few more things here and there. While as in project Elixir, we have better support, better UI. It's, it totally depends upon you which custom home you want to try out. Link is already available in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.